In this lesson, we'll take an introductory look at data interpretation questions on the GRE. These questions feature some sort of visual information, such as a graph, chart, or diagram, which you must use to answer regular multiple choice questions, or multiple choice questions with more than one correct answer, or numeric entry questions. Now within each quantitative section of the GRE, you will typically encounter one set of data interpretation questions. These questions are grouped together, and they all refer to the same information source. So when you come to the first data interpretation question in the set, you'll see a message like this telling you that the upcoming group of questions are all based on the same data. Now in general, you should expect to see three, sometimes four, consecutive questions. The nice thing about data interpretation questions is that they do not require any knowledge beyond what you already need to know for the other math questions on the test. In particular, data interpretation questions place a strong emphasis on real-life math concepts, such as statistics, percents, ratios, and probability. In other words, these questions require you to perform the kinds of mathematical analysis that graduate students typically perform on data. Now, in addition to possessing knowledge of statistics, percents, and so on, you do need to know how to interpret visual information in the form of tables, graphs, diagrams, and so on. Now, most of these forms will be familiar to you since you see them all around. For the less familiar forms, such as scatter plots and Venn diagrams, we've created individual lessons on those topics. Now, an important feature of data interpretation questions is that the visual graphics, such as bar graphs, circle graphs, and line graphs, are always drawn to scale. This means we can often read, estimate, or compare data values by sight. Finally, when it comes to effectively managing your time on the quantitative sections of the GRE, you should allot about two minutes per data interpretation question. All right, that concludes this lesson on the basic components of data interpretation questions. In the next lesson, we'll examine strategies for answering these kinds of questions.